My name's Jonathan Norman from the Major Projects Knowledge Hub and I'm talking to Martin Erickson, Senior Architect at Transport for London, on how the adoption of design for manufacturing and assembly will change our view of construction projects. Uh, Martin, we saw lots of robots and AI and CNC machines at the Tools for DFMA tour. Uh, I wondered what your sense was of this technology and how it's likely to affect the projects on which you work. Well, to, to begin with, thank you very much for having me. It was an extraordinary thing to see. I was very impressed by the facilities there, and it really gives a sign of a, a, an exciting future. In terms of bridging fabricator and, and designer, I think it's a brilliant tool. I myself is quite a quite an early adopter, so I own a four-axis milling machine myself, a couple of 3D printers, a laser cutter, I program drones, I like doing G-code. So I've really seen firsthand what this connection can do in terms of enabling you to create things before it gets to industry, before it gets to manufacturers or clients or other stakeholders, and really seen what the, what the positives are by being able to refine something in isolation as a designer before actually going out to market. And it was a sign to me that this, this tool is, is getting out to the hands of, of many other designers out there, which, which is really positive. I think, Jonathan, on a, on a larger scale, I'm really looking forward to see how that rolls out to things like your screw fixes and your uh, go-to places where you can actually start drawing things in 3D and it's turning up to a shop which can actually get that manufactured for you. I think that's a super exciting aspect of, of this whole kind of wave of new technology. And I think the word bespoke may no longer really have to hold this old meaning, which really just makes procurement much easier. So working for TFL, a very large company, procurement for us is a, is a big thing. So anything out of the out of the standard, out of the catalogue, is, is, a, is a difficult thing to deal with. And I think this process just will really enable us to not fully skip that step, but definitely make that a lot easier. So I'm, I'm very excited about that. And I mean, obviously, there are there are challenges such as, you know, sustainability, ethics, you know, where who's controlling what where the steel is coming from. If you begin to do this at home in your own shops, that's a whole different thing. But really, I cannot wait to see to see this come out. And I think the the benefits definitely outweigh any any disbenefits. This interview is part of our DFMA scrapbook. Please follow the scrapbook interviews on YouTube and the scrapbook itself on the Major Projects Knowledge Hub.